Hey guys, I got a big unboxing. It's gonna be a bunch of stuff. My husband's in the room, so I'm gonna feel weird about it, but we're gonna do this. So this is a Finn Fleece from Paris, Kentucky. I haven't bought a Finn Fleece since I first started spinning. And I found it on the, um, there's a Facebook group called Raw Fleece for Sale or something like that. I don't know. I guess if anybody really wants to check that Facebook out, uh, Facebook group out, just message me and I will link you to it. <clears throat> it was brown with like sun bleach tips. Oh, I'm scared. It's so crammed in here. It's, it might explode. Get ready. Can be like an airbag in the car. Wow. All right. Oh, there's a note on here. Violet. I always mark my fleeces, um, like who I bought them from and what the name of the sheep was and everything so that I can find them again if I want them, if I love them. This one says, first fleece. Sheared, raw, lightly skirted, five pounds, four ounces, some v VM. I expect that. I'm cool with that. Um, that's why I process my own fleeces, so I don't care about the VM. Ooh. I don't want to mess up the snow. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't want to mess up the snow she wrote me. Can you see? No, of course not, because I'm too close. Ooh, can you see this? Wow! Check that out. Look at that. I wish you could smell it. I'm gonna do it against the white. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. That is really fine. So I'm going to be washing this this week. Come back and you'll see a video on me washing some of this. I'm excited. <clears throat> okay, next. This is my monthly package from Into the World. I don't usually unbox these on camera just because I feel like they're over so quick. You might be like, what was that? Um, it's a monthly spinning subscription I think it's $22.50 so far I've been pretty happy with what I get and this time you're gonna see and then I'm gonna do a spinning box but um I might now that I got the loom I might trade this for the spunky eclectic weaving subscription I've been thinking about it I haven't really decided but I'm I'm get I'm expecting green because it's for March but we'll see And if you don't know Into the World, where have you been? Oh, see, I was expecting wrong. Look at that. Okay, the name is Moxie. It's Gotland, which I seem to be seeing a lot lately and I do really enjoy. I'm gonna take it out so you can really see these colors. It looks like it's a natural color Gotland that they over -dyed. Look how pretty that is. John's gonna like that. Don't tell him. Look at that. That's really pretty. Right up his alley. Okay. Now, March spinning box. And I know I've been gone a lot, you guys. I've been sick and I've also been really busy and kind of in a like a lull of projects. I've still been spinning and I have some stuff to show you on a later video, but um, I just sort of, it's almost like nothing sounds like a good idea. I don't know how to explain it. <clears throat> but I'm struggling. Okay. 
Oh, next month is Fiesta. That's going to be a good one. This says, from all the spinning box artists, thank you for your support. All right. Let's roll these sleeves up and get ready to get in here. <clears throat> you knew I'd grab this one first, right? This is from alexandrascrafts.com. It says 19 micron. And this month was Fiber Artist Choice, so they could basically do anything. Look at that. You know I'm going for that first. Hello, purple and pink. It's really soft. Wow. I've been pulling out one ounce, like, batches of fiber to do like a unicorn theme yarn so this will go into that perfectly obviously okay so next is the golden threads the power of fiber from fleece to yarn pink and gray I love it this is Sheviet roving look at Another one for the unicorn. I love spinning Chivia. It's like so easy to spin. Oh my gosh. I could practically make a unicorn yarn just out of what's in this box. All right, so here, this one's Handmade Hollows. It's called Cheshire Cat. Oh my gosh, wow. Merino, Targi, CVM, Sari Silk, Soft Silk, and Angelina. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. Look at that hot pink. That's the Sari Silk. That's really pretty. It is so, 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 so soft, too. I love it. That's awesome. It always seems like so much more fiber than an ounce. You really get a lot in these <clears throat> boxes. Excuse me. I've had a cold. This is one of the things that's been holding me up. Okay, this is Curly U's. No, Curly Q's. Got it. Look at this yellow and like a little bit of green. This is also Cheviot or Cheviot. Look at that. That might be good to mix in with the unicorn. Basically, I'm doing pink and purple and then any other color in pastel. It's very springy, really. It's kind of a greenish yellow. Sorry about the crinkle. I know. All right. I love these little bags. Do you guys save these? I do. My favorite, thank you. This is Broadway Creations, Merino, Mulberry Silk, and Firestar. I mean, can you really go wrong with that combo? I don't think so. Ooh. Where's the beginning? There it is. Look. That is very springy also. It's really, really soft. Man, that could go in there. Oh man, okay, so I need somebody to explain this to me because the braid from last month from Yours and Fiber, which is who this is from. By the way, this packaging with the stitch marker, so cute, so nice, really adorable, and the fiber was wonderful. I already filmed a video where I spun up the ounce that I got last month, and you guys will get to see it eventually. I'm just so behind. But um, I tried to go on her website immediately and order some more of the fiber, and I couldn't even find it. So I think that's kind of like, if you watch these to see what people think, like, 
It's kind of an important bit of feedback because if you're putting your stuff in these boxes and someone's trying to buy your stuff and they can't, it seems like a waste of work. Look at this. This is why I went and tried to buy some. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's spun up really nicely. It's beautiful. I'd like to buy some fiber from you, but I can't find you. And I think I said, but it's from yours in fiber and it's Gotland. Oh, Icelandic this month. Whoops, I just flipped that right out of there. So the fiber focus is Icelandic this month. I would like to know what you guys are going to do with yours. I've spun Icelandic before and I separated the, I believe it's the tell and the tog. Is that correct? Um, Cause they have, they're double coated. I would like to know what you guys do with it. So put it in the comments, what you're going to do with yours. Cause I know you guys watch them even if you get this. Okay. This is rock and string creations. Unicorns just want to have fun. Merino and Stellina. Could that be better for me right now? Oh my God, I keep it in. Look. It's like a beautiful cinnamon roll. <laughs> it's like pink and purple and gray. Oh, and it looks like it's, um... Maybe one of those blended rovings. That is really, really pretty. And some buttons shaped like flowers. See, I was totally expecting like spring theme or leprechaun theme. Look how cute. Four little red ones. And then here's one of those blended top. Oh, there's some candy in here. I'll give that to the boys. This is so pretty. So this is Birds of a Feather, 18 micron super fine merino. I'm gonna take it out so you can really see the colors. It totally reminds me of like those mallard ducks. Or if you got the Christmas, the 12 days of Christmas box, which was a very fun, there was um, three French hens had like three different little fiber balls that were colored like different chickens. And it, it kind of reminds me of this. Look how gorgeous that is. Wow. Look at that. Woo. Okay. That's it for today guys. But I mean, is that not enough? Um, <clears throat> come back and see the video. I'm going to wash some of that fleece tomorrow or Tuesday, and then I'll see what I, what I can get the video up. So, um, it was really fun this month. See you guys soon.